Hi everyone, I'm Tony from SUS.com. Today I'm going to test fly the VOIR TAF HD for the FLIR Duo Pro R, the biggest camera for drones that FLIR has. So we have made a solution for it, it's called VOIR TAF HD again, mounted on the Inspire 2. Uh, so can you, can you imagine that? Mm -hmm. that uh, Duo Pro R on the Inspire 2. So you can see um, uh, an iPhone for the DJI camera and then a thermal camera a tablet on a, a thermal camera that's our solution uh, everything is here uh, already installed I'm going to take it out so you can see it's in my hand it's still functioning well uh, the video is there you can see uh, I'm not sure you can see it yeah. well uh, so, you know, first person I'm, I'm looking at the screen is fine it has some uh, reflect reflection on the, the screen so uh, on the video you might not see it as well but um, I can <laughs> say that it works well. Okay, so I'm going to install it again very quickly. It's inspired too. Then go, we're going to test fly it and see the range of it. Uh, again, um, so our VR system uh, comes, you know, comes with a 5.8 uh, gigahertz video, video downlink system, either an analog or uh, digital. This one is digital version. Um, so uh, we always recommend and uh, tell uh, all the people, all the buyers, that you have always to uh, turn your drone, set your, your drone into uh, in, in 2.4 gigahertz mode so you don't have interference with our own system. DJI signal is very strong, so there's no, there's no way we can win over that, but uh, turning to 2.4 on the Inspire 2, or uh, turn from dual mode on the Mavic 2 to 2.4 will eliminate the in interference or minimize it to a very um, you know, low level. And then uh, the next thing you want to do is on the Inspire 2 because you, we mount something underneath of the chassis, uh, you're gonna, the Inspire 2 downward sensor will think that there's some optical underneath of the aircraft. So you want to go to the sensor here and go to advanced setting. Make sure that the enable vision positioning option is off. It's off. So it won't, uh, you know, think that there's some obstacle uh, below it and then start to climb on it on its own. Uh, if you forgot, forgot to, do this, to do so, uh, and, and it is climbing on its own out of your control. Uh, don't panic, just lower the landing gear and it will stop climbing. Uh, but it's always best to go to the app and turn that off first. Now we have things ready, we're gonna fly it. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see well. Um, there's Let's a reflection, see. but it's fine. No. Focus on it, a little bit of thermal. Yeah. This is more reflection Take than off. the phone. Oh, okay. Okay, let's uh, tilt it down a little bit. Let's see that better. Yeah. yeah. See, see the number? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Distance, yeah. 50 for approaching. Close 100. Of Okay. Okay, two hundred. Uh huh. Two hundred. And everything's good. Three hundred. Okay, uh, 400, five hundred. Uh -huh. Yes. It's almost six hundred. Approaching six hundred. Yes, six hundred.
Maximum flight altitude reached. Okay. Yeah, 720. 720. And we say, try to see if... This one's... Yes, yeah, it change color palette. Yeah, EO. Zoom, maybe. IR. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, let's fly it home. Yes. Fire 2 with the Dual Pro or VOIR uh, TAF HD of SEVS.com. Alright, here we go. You see it here? Yeah? Okay. Very good. Thank you so much.